want a video. <laughs> what is up? We're back, Team Wheat. Uh, I'm DJ Wheat. This is, of course, Mini, Mini Wheat. Wheat. And uh, we were on the Yogscast Jingle Jam when, like, December 13th. They were, I think it was the second, hold on, let me turn that down. It was like the second week, right? It was the second week. It, yeah, yeah, because it was the week before Star Wars came out. I see Minnie's sporting his Force Awakens shirt. Minnie Wheat, you got to see it. Now, we're not, we're, we're being respectful of anyone who still hasn't seen it, but what did you think of the movie? It is amazing. It was amazing. 10 out of 10. 15 out of 15. Look at this. There you go. Bam. There you go. There you go. So, uh, we're back. We originally played some Star Wars games because it was like the let's get hype for Star Wars stream. And I'm not going to tell you what we're playing yet, but it is kind of Mini Wheat's choice. And, um, well, but anyway, I want to talk about it. We decided on it, sure, sure. But, you know, Mini's, Mini's choice. I figured there's a couple things we should do before we get started. Uh, the first would be just say hello again and uh, happy new year to everyone. We hope that you have awesome new year's plans and uh, that they're going to be very safe. Mini, what are your new year's plans? Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, let's see. Either we're going to Tahoe. We're or... not. We're not going to Tahoe oh. anymore just because we can't. Yeah. We don't. We, we don't want to put have... chains on our car. Yeah. Yeah. And. And also, we came from Nebraska, but we're not super equipped for the cold like yeah. like we once were. But we are gonna we're gonna have some Trent friends over. over, yeah. So uh, let's talk though about we're not playing Dota. We should actually we'll switch that in a second. We'll switch no, that. someone alright. They switched Wait, it. Yeah. Okay. We just need to refresh it. Okay. Uh, we'll refresh that right there. Um. Uh. Let's talk about. Minnie, let's talk about uh, Christmas a little bit. Did you have a good Christmas? Yes. Yeah. I hit the jackpot. Oh, Minnie, we hit the jackpot. <laughs> yeah. So you want to tell everyone what some of your favorite uh, things that you got for Christmas were? I got a quadcopter. Yes. Got a quadcopter. And... I was so excited about the quadcopter and we've been flying it. We've been practicing, yep. right? That I bought one. Guess what, Mini Wheat? It came here today. It came here today. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, you know, we're gonna have we're gonna have double quadcopter flying happening. Sadly I I had a quadcopter that had as a camera, but uh, on one of our first flights the camera broke. The camera just stopped working. Yeah. So it hasn't stopped us from using uh, yeah. the the drone, obviously, but it's uh, it's pretty great. A has anyone ever flown uh, a quadcopter or a drone? Because they are not easy. They look really easy to f fly and control, but they're not. Yeah, they're not helicopters. They're no, not helicopters are also not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Remember th when I got that helicopter from, um... Yeah, I mean, like, I would even say that the quadcopter yeah. is... I don't know. Maybe it's easier because it has more maneuverability than, like, yeah. the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. I they, never actually ever got to fl fly that no, helicopter. Yeah, it had it had some issues, huh? Yeah. Any so um some people said yes, some people said no they haven't. But I have to say for about fifty or sixty dollars, you can go a little bit higher. You can get in and sort of get in your first initial investment. And that's kind of yeah. what we're doing. We've got a couple of drones um now and we're you know learning how to fly them properly and then we'd like to get our drone license you can get one for ten dollars i've been I've, i'm learning all this stuff and uh you know eventually i would like to get a super beef drone that i could put the gopro on uh 
I don't know. There's some awesome ones out there. What do you think? I Meaning, are you going to be a? It is. Pirated cars said it. Said it well. Flying a drone quadcopter is like trying to fly an angry wasp on yeah, a string. Yeah, I saw that one. Yes. Yeah, there are. Uh, Jadero says they're supposed to be a lot less expensive if you build them. Uh, but I'm so technically challenged. Yeah, I. You know, also I've the the closest I've come to like any sort of building or deconstructing of anything was computers. soldering. So, not even computers, many we. Not e I've never used a soldering iron to fix an issue on a computer. But what I can tell you is that back in my days, in college days, this you won't even know what the hell this is. But I used to be able to install uh, a four-pin PlayStation mod chip or a 22-pin uh, Dreamcast mod chip. Before, of course, the Dreamcast mod chips became like six-pin. But the, when they first came out, they were 22-pin. And I learned how to solder just... In fact, many, I, I don't know if anyone will know what the hell I, I'm talking about. Maybe I just showed yeah, you. I have, I have no idea bit. what a mod chip is. Yeah. yeah. A mod chip, a mod chip would allow you. To a, modify. We only installed mod chip for legitimate reasons. If so, say for example, um, say for example, like the, the Japanese version of Tekken 2 came out on the PlayStation. But, but your PlayStation was region locked to United States. By installing a mod chip, then you could play other regions' games. Oh. Yeah. There you go. And if you were a CD individual and happened to copy another game, it might also be able to play that. Yeah. But it's more for the region locking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what, what else? What else? What else? What did you get for? <laughs> but, uh, uh, Bamith said, "Oh, it's live! I thought this was Camel versus Bird again." Uh, yeah, we're not gonna Camel versus Bird. We're not gonna. Okay, we are gonna play something in just a second. We're not gonna play Camel hey, versus Bird. Uh, anything hey else bird that you want to talk about for Christmas that you got that was uh, that was awesome? Anything at all? Mm. Mm -mm. Just the quadcopter, apparently. Uh, uh, my Nerf Rivals gun. Nerf, Nerf Rivals. Have you guys seen a Nerf Rivals gun? This thing actually could hurt someone. It could definitely shoot down that quadcopter. <laughs> <laughs> You've been thinking about that, haven't you? All right, Daddy, here's how it goes down. You try not to get hit by the Nerf rival while flying around the quadcopter. Is that what you're thinking? No. All right. Um, for those of you who have never tuned in, uh, yes, uh, this is my child. Believe it or not, I was able to produce this lovely... Actually, I built him. He's a he's a robot. No, I'm not. Uh, yes, he is. You didn't no, know that. No, I'm not. Today you learned. Do you know what? Do you want? We can cut you, and they can see your green no uh, hydraulic fuel I, fluid that will. That, come that's out of you. a lie. That is Lies. not a lie. Lies. I'm telling you guys right now. Lies. I'm telling you guys right now. Lies. I, it's also the first robot that's ever been built that allows itself to like build or you know like grow. Lies. Just... It's all lies. All right. It's all lies. All right. Um. You know what? So, uh, Mr. Flax did not read the donations that were that were Whoa. up there, and there's quite a bit. Should I read them really quick? Yes. Okay. See, Mini Wheat is a robot. Confirmed. I am not! <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know how far back these actually went. These seem like they went all the way back to 8.30 p.m. Um, Vincent, sadly, due to terrible internet speed, I can't watch the stream live, but I'd like to thank you guys for all the entertainment over the years. You deserve a medal. Oh, $25. Boom. And did you see Mini Wheat? They're almost to a million. If you could use your cuteness to get people to donate up to a million, it's only 
eighty four three thousand dollars four hundred dollars eighty three and then once we get to one million, we'll just have nine million more until we hit that goal of ten million. Two. I think if you could get it up to one million, then you could just take this mic and you could hold it out, and then you could just like drop it, just like drop the mic. Okay, here we go. Uh, this says, "Hey guys, Lewis may be my favorite Yogscast YouTuber of the bunch, but your guys' streams are always the best. Lots of love from the Netherlands. Twenty five dollars. Oh, that's beautiful." Carpa says donated seventy five dollars early, but had to donate some more for Nilsie's awesome speech. Did you get to hear Nilsie's awesome speech? No. Man, that's too bad that you missed it. It was really awesome. I didn't see it either. <laughs> I didn't see it either. Okay, Bro so far, Hello and greetings from Sweden. Love you, Panda and Silas and that other fellow. Hope you guys have a jolly holiday. Wait, these are all from like fucking a million years ago. Excuse me. I can't believe I just said that. You know what? I don't think these are the same ones. I don't think. Well, we have. A, there's a hundred dollars. No, look. That says 12. Oh, wait. Now it updated. Now now it updated properly. Um. Okay. We must hit Millie. See, that says 1229 now. Today is 1229. Uh, I did not. I did. Uh, well. That will play into our stream here in just a, in just a minute. So, uh, Gibson, loving the stream. Special the karaoke with those heartstring tugging songs by Zoe. This was from way earlier. They did like that stuff a long time ago. Who didn't read these donations? Shame on them. You play. Da, 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 I give money. Sadero, twenty five dollars from Sadero. Army guy, TFW, I will never have a highly advanced weapon of mass destruction with very large breasts pushing into my chest trying to get my pants off. $25 to get that special message out there this holiday season. That's very nice. Uh, mini wheat uh, from Donator Stefini. It is simply a happy face. That's it. Okay. Nec Necro Matador donated a little late this year, but this is my third year donating $25. Look at that. Um, Zahid Awan, $25. What are you, fucking gay? I don't know why or who he's asking or why that would even matter. But those, just reading them how they come in. Colin, Mary Yogg's, oh, yeah, Mary Yogg's and a happy Yogg year. I would clap for that one. Is clap for this one too. Cobalt Saver, Yogg's cast is love, Yogg's cast is life. Oh, many we. $25. Josh, I really appreciate what you guys do for the world and how much effort you put forth. It means a lot to everyone you help. Thank you. $25, Josh. Thank you. Okay. Um, can we get this egg off of the camera? Wait. Can we get this egg off the cam of the camera and count it or will we have some chicken pie tonight? That's from Ginger. $5. I don't... I didn't understand that one at all, Mini Wheat. Chicken pie? Well, chicken, chicken pot Pie? Chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot. <laughs> Merla, hi guys. Tom, your voice is really cool. Zips, and please tell Lewis from me that he's probably the most handsome guy I know. Uh, wish you a great new year. All right, there's two more, and then we're all good. And then all of the donations have been read. Adam, not going for the typical $25 donation, mini wheat, but rather bumping it up to. $30. $30. Thanks for many years of great content, guys. Been a fan since the wow days. You guys are my escape. Keep being awesome. More Perion Fluus. Oh, that's adorable, too. Bob14496. Hi, Yogs. Amazing job raising money for charity over the years. And thank you for all your work during the years, too. Love you all. Keep up the great work. Happy smiley face. Bam, 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 bam. Mini Wheat, you ready to play some games? Yes. Oh, there's a ton more. Well, just to came play in. Oh, game. my gosh. Whoa. What? When did these all come in? Juho, LOL, $25. That's it. Do you want to read a couple? You should just read a couple. There you go. Do you remember how to do it? Yep. Yep, just read them. The Nerd Cowboy... Donate twenty five dollars. Don't trust that computer. 
Packers. I have donated every year and almost missed this year because I've been busy. Keep it up. Heart. All right. Original one TSN. Original one Read. TSN. Mark it. Mark it complete so we can play. It's time to it's time to play. George. George. He donated six dollars. Just another six dollars to say how much I love the pyron. Bradley They're worried Chester. that there might be some bad donations. <laughs> Donate $25. Always happy to get some games for cheap and donate to charity at the same time. Take this thing out. It's driving me nuts. Okay. Donator, period. Period. <laughs> Regus. $25. Did you say Pyreon? Mm-hmm. You did? That's good. Just keep saying that. Yannick! Finally, the long-promised Scrub Nut stream is happening. I like that one. That's a good one. Okay. Keep going. Kate and Gwen. And love y'all hugs cast and love the charity stream keep up your awesome work and have a great 2016 correct he donated it 30 dollars yes these are all for pyreon these are all for pyreon like this one for sure half lab uh, uh, donated 25 dollars and he says poop poop <laughs> okay Save Pyron on uh, donated $25. May he flax not end last. Boom. J- job. <laughs> job fee. He's. He's. Joe Fee's 99. Donated $25 saying. P flax it. His stream will not be the lowest. Boom. It will not be the lowest. There you go. Oh, my gosh. They keep coming up. Why do they... Why... They... Uh, all right. We'll, we'll keep it. Uh, this is good because, you know, you want it to hit one million. I hope everyone had a nice Christmas from the Dr. Mr. Test. Is that really? Or the DRM drummer test? Drummer? Trump drummer t- the the, D- the doctor Mr. Test I think uh, love you Lewis Jabutif Jabuti Jabuti seventy seven Epic Pandaria fifty dollars from Jabuti uh, Sangara yay I did something good this year twenty five dollars and eleven cents that's your one thing you did good this year congratulations Lawrence Thibodeau three hundred and one dollars mini wheat. Three hundred and one dollar. Three hundred. I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm sorry. It, it wasn't as large as I said. I'm sorry. Take it back, guys. To hold on. Oh, you're three hundred and one cent. Three hundred dollars and one cent. Not quite three hundred and one dollars, which would have been way more amazing. No, seriously. Lawrence Thibodeau says many thanks to the Yogcast Associated YouTubers for the years of entertainment and charitable efforts. At the end of the day, it's not the games that will keep me watching, but the wonderful people. Of course, because games get freaking old. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. 2016. Donator John Mark, $25 mini mini wheat and says, love you guys. He could be talking about anyone, but that, we'll just pretend like he's talking about us. Uh, Velva. Wait, Vevla. Excuse me, Vevla. Not, not Velva. Vevla. Let's have some sweet music, Wheat and Wheat Jr., $25. There we go. All right, let's talk about what we're going to do. Um, we one have more. another donation. Um, you are Ursum Bros. You, go, go, Team Wheat. P.S. Don't be rude, donators. It's the holidays after all. Follow the Wheat rule. Don't be a dick. We like that rule. Don't be a dick. That one gets you banned in, in the channel. $10 yep. from that. Mini Wheat. Mini Wheat. Um, you want to talk about what, what we're going to play? <laughs> 
They're they're still coming in. Janelle Williams, twenty five dollars. Goodman's ass. All right. I thought we got rid of that one. Okay, mini wheat. So, um, what did we decide? What did we decide? Okay. What did well, we decide we play? We decide to play Prison Architect. We're going to play Prison Architect. We've never played Prison Architect. You've never played it before, have you? Okay. And um, I have no idea if this is going to be good or not. But I feel like letting Mini Wheat try to run the prison while I command uh, him from, you know, the warden's office or wherever it is, the Department of Corrections, the head of the Department of Corrections for the state of California. Um, we've never, we've never played, but are you ready? Are you just going to, are we just going to go in I'm and ready. play? Okay. Um, so let me fire it up then. Here. Real quick. <laughs> okay. I know. Hilarious, right? Hilarious. Okay. Prison Architect. And we don't care about iTunes. Oh, come on. Cancel. 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 All right. Forget about that. We just won't care. Dumb about iTunes. It. Or iTunes. Just, it's always iTunes' fault. Why isn't this loading, Mini Wheat? Oh, here we go. Don't show me this again. Play. Okay. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Not as excited as I am. Because I don't know if you can. What? Don't you actually... It just started? It didn't even, like... It didn't even let us... Don't stop the rhythm. Whoa! I don't know why that happened. Go ahead. I don't know what to do. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea to what. To, hold on. What the heck? I, I it, it literally, we just opened the game and this is what it came into. But I've never played it. I just installed it. Doesn't it tell you how to at least play the game? I don't know. Well, there's, hold on. There's, read the CEO's letter. I haven't. Letter. Wait, congratulations on completing your basic induction. We I we never completed it. Oh crap. Oh, you can hit escape to go to its menu. Uh campaign. 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 Death row. That's the that's That's the intro. Yeah. Intro. So you think it's going to... Okay. I'm not going to touch it. All right. We'll give it a shot. Also, we got a donator. Uh, day yearly. Hi, DJ Wheats and Mini. Looking forward to watching your second stream and donating what little I can spare to show my support. $5. Thank you, my friend. That's really loud. There we go. Sim donates $25. Love you guys. Keep up the solid and effort. I like it. Look at this. Mini wheat. Brunch, read that donation. Pyron Flax. Shadow donated one hundred dollars. Shout out to Maywheat. Heart you both. Yep, from Pyreon Flax. All right, you know it's Pyreon. It's Pyreon Flax. Well, that's okay. From now on, you thou have been dubbed by Maywheat Pyreon Flax. I just this need is like a tough a, one. Okay, Maywheat. That's me. I'm the CEO. Yeah. So okay. you read. So what? Oh yeah. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. Click to continue. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Wow, I'm good at this. I should totally be the CEO. 
this is where I want the new facility to be built. You see, I put these little things over here to mark the square. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. And keep in mind, you need a lot of room in order to execute people. So it must be specifically built to my specifications. So let's get started. Construct a new building right there. There. We will also need an entrance. Oh, God, he's going to talk a lot, isn't he? To the new execution facility. Yeah, you got to have a door. It makes sense, right? Like, don't be stupid. Build a large jail door into the south wall. Do you know which one's south? I'm guessing this. No, south wall. I, I even put a little thing there. Jail wow. door lodge. That's the south wall. God. Who who hires these people? You're gonna... Okay. Alright. I'm oh, calling guys. you. Hold on, I'm calling you. You better... I'm calling you. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. You see they're building. Now these guys are union, so they work under very, you know, specific things. I don't want you going in there thinking you're going to charge your phone. It's my guys that are going to be plugging that iPhone charger in, okay? Yeah, keep keep going. You know it, though. They're going to make the framework of the building. They're going <laughs> to... He's like, nope, you can't go. Uh, they'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and frameworks from your new building. All right. This is the slowest part of the construction. So you should plan ahead when you build the new facilities. Because we got to make sure it's under code. And, you know, it's, it's not going to just blow over. If that You're tired? You're tired? You think running to prison? And just, you better pull up those big boy pants and... Drink a cup of coffee because you don't get tired over here. All right. Inside the building, I want a cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Construct those walls. Brick. There you go. Another one right there. That did good job spending my money. Hey, you want me to build your brick walls? All right. You know what? I didn't hire you to talk back. Uh, certainly, I'm the CEO here. I'll tell you. Can you? I. These guys need to hurry it up a little bit. I can't. What? What do you mean you can't? That was that was the right answer. They're, they're union. You yeah. said I, they're okay, responsible. Okay, I was just making sure that you were listening. You said they were responsible for the construction of this facility. All right. We're putting it together. Gosh, it takes all day. Jeez. Be patient. Now add large jail doors to the dividing walls. All right, not small ones like you did in the last building, but large ones. I, I didn't add a small door here. I meant a different building that you were working on before this game even started, all right? We got a history. Rotate the object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or press R. Build the door. There it is. Large jail door. Okay. Then R. There you go. Okay. You can follow instructions. That's good to know. Of course. Oh. Cub the Duck thinks he's CEO. Says you can speed up time. Guys in the top right. All right, Coob D Duck. Uh, we're officially going to name you VP of Employee Management. 
Um, thank you very much. Accept your position. And uh, welcome to the club. All right, that's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. You can't just think like that's the cell up there, the big one, all right? You have to designate what they are. So designate a cell in the small... <laughs> then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. All right, there you go. All right, Coob to Duck has accepted his position as VP of Employee Management, Execution Room, Cell. Wait, this isn't supposed to be. What? Cell. Yes, it is. What'd you make it? I. For some reason, it didn't make itself a execution. It's because those new rooms <laughs> have requirements before they become functional. Mr. Know It All, the cell needs a bed and a toilet. Can you can't expect people to be peeing on the floor? And the execution room needs an electric chair because that's the only form of of execution that they allow here in our fine state. Of I don't know where that is. I think I think Nebraska still allows. Uh, they still execute via the electric chair. Are you making it? I, we're waiting. Why don't you try what Coob the Duck said and press one of those little arrows in the corner and see what happens. Look at that. All right, but get ready to press it because after they installed... Whoa, wait, wait. Are you sure you didn't... Is there anything else you need to... Oh, here they come, Mini Wheat. I said be patient. I was the one that fast forwarded them. No, Look this at, is there fast. You go. Okay, okay, wait, wait. All right. All right. Good job. All right. Good. Good job. I'm g waiting for my CEO high five. There you go. That's the essentials taken care of, but there's still a few improvements that you could make because you think this place is perfect and not so much. Me, I have high expectations. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environments and, of course, your job because I'll fire your ass. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, the CEO, the cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window. All right, you don't want these guys thinking they're stuck in some cavernous dungeon. And the facility would look better with a high-quality floor material like wooden floorboards. Or my personal favorite, mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lighting, a paved pathway if you think it needs it. What do you, what do you think? Oh. Is this the guy we're going to execute? Yeah. Look at that guy. That sorry scallywag. This is the man in question. Edward Romsey. A teacher once. Would you believe that? Mini Wheat. It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law made that decision. We're just here to do the job. That's justice. Once you're satisfied the facility's ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. So you click on the Polaroid in the cell to initiate the transfer. Okay, wait, wait. Don't you, uh, aren't you going to make all the suggested changes that I said to make over here? The lights, you know, add a window, some stuff like that. Why don't you, I want to see, I don't, like, I don't like talking to myself. So, wait, a bookshelf. I want you to make wait. a... All right, good job. We got a window, a bookshelf. Wait, are you going to put the bookshelf in his? I think you should put it over there. I think, okay, I've studied a little bit of the feng shui. I'd be in an appropriate place. A light? No, put lights outside. And he said lights outside. You can't, wait, what? Light. What about a path? What about a path? No, wait, wait, what about a path wait. to the... All right, now you got too many lights. You got, I got, I'm the one that has to pay the power bill around here, all right? It's not, it's not you, is it? Did you pay the power bill last month? It was me, the CEO. And don't forget about the flooring. I know. All right, I'm just reminding you I'm the CEO. That's my job.
What about connect those other two? Things there. No? Alright. You do whatever. Mosaic flooring. You're going to do his cell too? He doesn't deserve it. Oh, snap. Do I? Do you know what happens next, Minnie? I feel like you've already watched all this stuff on YouTube before. It looks like you're still trying to set stuff. All right. I... I think yes. I don't shed one tear. Is this to oh wait, this is a different guy. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was. Uh oh, what'd this guy do? Uh oh. Is this is this skip? You already you've watched this, haven't you, before, Minnie? Have you seen this before? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Minnie was just like, I've I've already seen it, Dad. It's not that big of a deal. All right. No. Oh, they were they were naked. I knew I'd catch you two here. <laughs> Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? He's going to show you his nerf gun. Oh, dead. Oh, dead. Oh. Oh. He killed them both, Minnie. And he's going to get the death sentence now. You guys... That wasn't even that bad. That wasn't even that bad. Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. Well, how come no one's escorting those prisoners, man? That seems a little bad. Okay, you can you can go through these many. I'll read these. Okay. Uh, donator Ben. Love the stream. Keep up the good work for charity. $40. $40. Income, income. Oh, good work so far. All right. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. Oh, wow. You need to connect it to the electrical supply. What were you thinking? Bubble cookie. Yay, Ellen Mayo. $25. Uh, wow, this is like SimCity, man. Shows the electrical wiring for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical power cables. Power is provided to the prison by the substation which draws the electricity from the national grid. That's what I have to pay for. So don't be leaving your lights on or... You know, falling asleep with the television on. None of that. 
She could see this entire wing of prison cells without power. All the lights are out. You got two prisoners up there. All right, switch into utilities mode, mini wheat. Do you have to just like extend the power grid? I need to go to the bathroom really quick. Oh man. All right. Mini wheat was getting restless. He had to go to the bathroom. Oh, mini wheat, they're riding. What do I? They're riding, Mini Wheat. They're riding. I just. They're. Oh, I'm just kidding. Everything's fine. Refrelik asks, why is he subjecting the small child to such adult themes? Hmm. It's a great question. And when you have a child of your own, you'll be able to gauge the maturity level in which they can engage and interact with. And uh, I happen to have a 10 year old who is very mature for his age and can handle some adult themes. He can understand, hold on, because you might want to hold on to your butts when you hear this. He can understand the difference between video games and real life. And in this case, it's a strategic game about building and running a prison about it um but no in all seriousness you will feel that way and you will know uh you will know because he wasn't this way his whole life uh it wasn't until about five or six that he started sort of showing uh another level and you know for that reason we've had some great experiences together we like to play the walking dead telltale games you know, a lot of stuff together Oh my god, there is a video. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves in terms of what or where you came from? Um, yeah, I mean, so my roots go back to basically uh, esports and live streaming. Um, first audio and then video. Um, I'm currently the director of programming for Twitch, and I've been uh, part of that company for about five years now. Um, before that, I worked in uh, cloud-based backup and security for uh, banks, and I worked in um, I worked in uh, Nebraska doing that stuff, and then. Uh, I got involved in esports as like one of the first guys to ever commentate video games. Uh, it was Quake back in the day, and then I moved on and I commentated everything from Warcraft to uh, Counter Strike to Unreal Tournament to Quake to um, I. I mean, I probably done about twenty or so games in my in my life. Um, most recently, and probably its biggest fashion was StarCraft Two. Uh, really enjoyed broadcasting that. And I guess like through that whole esports career, you know, obviously I had a kid and um, I think when you're in sort of the content creation market, you, um, you, you, you know, you, you have a choice, right? Choice is either you keep your kids out of it or you let them be a part of it. And for my little guy, Minnie, he always wanted to be a part of it. So it was a pretty easy decision to just kind of let him do what he wanted to do. Um, he loves the whole making videos and streaming and interacting, and he is a very social and not shy individual. Um, so, yeah, I am I am from the dinosaur age of streaming for sure. That's that's definitely uh, that's definitely for sure. So yeah, uh, I also was involved with things like the Championship Gaming Series, which is like the first televised esports event on DirecTV. That ran for two seasons. I worked for them in Los Angeles. I worked for a company called Global Gaming. Uh, we did things like the Hip Hop Gaming League. I've shared a stage with Snoop Dogg before, uh, Method Man, Eric V, uh, Red Man, Ying Yang Twins. Like I've definitely had a, a fucking crazy life, that's for sure. Uh, but I, I, uh, I, I love being able to sort of let Mini grow up in this world of gaming and, and hopefully take him down the right path. Uh, as, uh, you know, I'm waiting for Mini to get back. I don't know where he is. Maybe he had to take a dump. Maybe he had to do a number two. He had to do a number two. 
Um, and now I work for Twitch and I just support streamers and streaming and name drop much. It, I mean, didn't even really start name dropping yet. I have played some TF2, yes. Back. Did you take a number two? Yeah. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> it was that for the donation that said poop? It was for that guy? No. I like that you're so brutally honest about it. You're just like, yep, whatever. There's a two. All right. What do we have to do? We have to make more electrical cables, Mini Wheat? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? My Twitch job is I'm director of programming at Twitch. And so that means a number of things. Uh, it means that I do things like uh, put together all the content uh, for an event like Quake, uh, QuakeCon, for TwitchCon. Uh, so the Kappa stage, uh, selecting the panels, all that stuff, that was all uh, come from my group. And then all the events that we do, uh, whether that be like PAX or E3 or Gamescom or all these different events, um, I also am in charge of those. So all the original programming, including like Twitch Weekly, as well as a lot of the stuff that we do with the sales team. Uh, you might have seen, you know, like uh, just different things that'd be on slash Twitch that, that were sales initiatives. Um, why does it look like those are not connected? Do you have to hit R? No. Oh, they just look like that. That's weird. It's totally yeah, correct. Yeah, I see. It just looked weird, man. Uh, okay. What did you have to go all the way down? Yes, the Kappa stage was one of the stages at the uh, at TwitchCon. Um, that's what I do. I was uh, originally joined Twitch to be the um, uh, to be the senior director of, of uh, partnerships for esports. Which basically was um, try to get people to use Twitch for esports, that type of thing. Oh, Jaderos, I don't need to compete. I know I am. I know I am. I know. Use the power cables to connect the execution. I already did. Oh, you were ahead of the game, Mini Wheat. You were ahead of the game. Easy. Wait. We are almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though, just in case anyone, you know, doesn't work or something like that. Who are you going to test it on, man? How are you going to test it? Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison stock. Oh, my God, this is not good. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. So what do you have to do? Add batteries. First, we need to turn the power back on. It's a two-step process. Have you ever seen Jurassic Park? Turning power on was a two-step process there, too. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Pretty simple. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. I'm going to yeah. build four. Yeah. You're going to build four? Yeah. Four more. Because you see there's one Oh, inside. see? That's, that's like me too, man. Yeah, build that fourth one. Oh, it won't let you. Uh, I also need to do that. I think that they'll hit the million dollars. Cool, yeah. 184. The prisoners could be raptors. 
But thank you for everyone who has donated today. Appreciate it. It's been a long climb. When we were just when we did our first stream, uh, that was when it just hit like six hundred thousand dollars. So that's pretty pretty good what they've done there. Dismantle dump. Wait, expand. Oh, you're just waiting. You could use that special thing. What special thing? You know the fast forward time. What's that thing right there? What is that piece of paper? What? The map begin. What? Well, is that his notes from the original game? It looks like it totally would be. That's awesome. I feel like it is. That's pretty cool. All right, is it done? Is it done, law? We found page three. Page th three uh. of many. We're still waiting for the capacitors to come in. There it is. Bam, bam, bam. Now they have to do these two wires. What the hell was that? What? So does that mean we have more? You gonna try it now? Test the chair. Well done. I believe we're finished with this job. Let's fry this guy. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in all business. Try not to worry about what happens next. you and what what is this just like a flashback mm -hmm. you'll never be able to live yourself until you face up to your past I want to go back I want to forgive her. I want to forgive me God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the war. There is no other way. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. About 1200 has been raised in the last hour. Krulion. Give or take. About 1200. And speaking of donations, here are a couple more. Uh, this one comes from Mika de Oliveira. Not much time to watch this year. Still making a donation, though. Buy $25 comes in from Mika. And Michael, Yogscast are amazing. And I love watching you guys on Roleplay. Keep up the good work, guys. Roleplay is great. Roleplay happens over. Oh, they're executing him. Hold on. Edward Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Wait, shouldn't he be being allowed?
electrocuted right now because I left the electric chair on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you have anything to say? Oh. I'm sorry. Look into the light, Edward. Look into the light. Is that is that like the end of the tutorial? That's the end of the first campaign, I'm pretty sure. Is the campaign basically like a tutorial? I'm not sure. I've only watched the first part of the campaign because I watched Sips. Is either Sips or Shin and play this when it is like in beta. Chapter 2. Oh my gosh, Minnie. There's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. You left a stove on and now the whole place is on it fire. It wasn't my fault. All it right, all right. We'll figure out. We'll we'll do the Austin investigation it was the fault later. Of the, it was Someone the fault. started a fire, probably you. The priority is to put it out, stop any casualties, and prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down! Or I'll have your job, mini wait. What the you're not gonna call paramedics? Just in case someone dies too. Just gonna call them all. Oh my god, it's spreading. Oh moly. Oh no. Okay, it says extinguish the call the how do you extinguish the flames? I don't know. Um Whoa. What have you done? Why do you I can't Uh 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 Let's just see, maybe the fire department will do it. How long until they get here? Oh, they're, they're here. Okay, great. Are they, like, doing anything? No. Why aren't they... Why aren't they doing anything? Can you, like, click on them and maybe tell them that, like, the fire's over there, guys? <laughs> oh, there you go. There, there you go. R click right mouse to order your fireman to move there. Firemen will aim hoses on nearby fire. Okay. They're about to take out the whole cafeteria, Mini Weed. What about those firemen down there? Right, Mouse, your No, fireman. they're not firemen. Just right click them. Will they go there? There you go. Get that other one. That other one has a hose, too. There's two more over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Yep, got the right folks out just in case. No, they don't they're not going to help you put out the fire. No, I am Oh, just I'm, in case they just try in to case break out. Anyone, oh my uh, gosh, they are riding. Oh my gosh, Mini Wheat. I don't know, man. I'm worried for you. I'm worried for you. I'm going to get my paramedics out just in case. Okay. Uh oh. Guys, move on in. Oh wait, no, I'm going to command the these two to go. Down okay. That, one. that seems like a good idea. Same way. This is mayhem right now. Mayhem right now. Move on in. Looks like you've contained it. Or are beginning to. Hopefully it doesn't spread to the other side. You guys. Wait, what was that? That was a laundry room? Uh, no, 
this was the kitchen. This was the canteen. I'm going to put out this part. This guy can work on this. These guys can put out this. This is actually really awesome. I didn't know that this is all part of this game. Well, well. All right, that guy must. These guys have taken out that part, so they're. You're gonna have a lot of mess to clean up, buddy. What what's happening with that riot down there? Is that still a thing? Yep, they're just weighing here. Oh no, it looks like everything's cool. I think. Where's the rest of the flames? I think I put them all out. Most of no, them. No, yep, there's a few down there. Select a fireman and press H to do it manually. Try one with a fireman. Try a f try grabbing one. Oh. oh. My God. There's a survivor in the record. I love how they just recorded someone actually coughing. And we're just put it in as a sound effect in the game. Christ on a crutch. It's Don Palermo. Of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. The bad news for him is that the budget cuts have meant we've had to sack all of our permanent doctors. The good news is our infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of Mr. Don once we sort this mess out. I have, I have a team of paramedics that I just called. Well, I told you to order doctors and I think you should still use the bulldoze tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. Designated garbage jump adjacent. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Finally, you can send those firemen home now that they've done their job. Send them home. Send the firemen home. Tell the firemen good job. Give them a pat on the ass on the way out. and get But get out of here. Anytime you're unsure what to do, right. highlight the objective. Tell the firemen that they can go home. I don't need those riot police. Everyone. Right. Hire a couple of doctors. Don't forget about that. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Pick up your phone. One mini wheat. I'm the one that pays the bills around here. <laughs> Demolishing those buildings will take a while. You can pass the time more quickly by using the buttons I, under the I clock. Know. If you remember, our VP of employee time management told us that way back in the earlier tutorial. Yeah. Yes. Shout out. Staff, doctor, uh, staff zone. Where's the staff zone? Where's the freaking staff zone? More. Do we have not? Oh. Oh, get wrecked, mini meat. Okay, I said a couple of doctors, not a gaggle of doctors. All right. I don't know why you need to hire twenty thousand. You mean just, you mean five. I also oh, could do with four more, or four minute. Wait, not four, four more what? I meant to say workers. I'm going to place them in storage. They'll move. They'll move the stuff. Oh, hire more workmen to speed up the, oh, nice. It says 83%, you can hire even more. Hire more workmen. Keep hiring them. Keep, there you go. There you go. 30 workmen. That'll cost us a budget. Well, we do have a million dollars. Well. 
and Excuse me. I have a million dollars. I'm the CEO. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're just the warden. All right. I pay you a nice salary. Okay. I give you good benefits. Got medical insurance and eye insurance and dental insurance and pet insurance. Pet insurance? Like guard dogs? No, pet insurance. Like you can't get sick and go to the doctor. And then they get insured for that. Look, not very... Wait, what did I say? What what happened? Oh, this is the mob boss getting back. Dun, 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 uh, dun, no, there's, a, there's dun. still another day tomorrow, I believe. Two more, actually. Tomorrow and then Thursday? No. Dot, dot, dot. Is he gonna live? Sonny, I think he's trying to say something. Would you get cocked I did this. Beep, 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 beep. No one did this to you, Bobby. It was an accident. Shut your mouth and listen good, the both of you. If I knew would you start that fire, I'd stab you stinging necks. But my time is done. I'm gonna die in this big bed. And there's a family business to run. Spell our animal name is all we've got left. So you do the honorable thing, you dirty musician. Kabish. Kabish. We know what to do, Pops. We know what to do. Uh-oh. What are they going to do? I'm worried. Watch your back. This isn't over, Nico. Nico, this isn't over. Uh-oh. Without food, Minnie. Oh, Display, de deploy, deploy a spread of gods to all cell blocks and rooms. Assign ten guards to stations around the prison. Can you do all that? Did you get it all? Yes. Okay. And plus. Okay, while you do that, I'm just going to make a quick adjustment here on this thing and see if all I right. can. Stop. How many guards do we have? Guards! 25 guards. That won't be enough. Why not? One, two, because we have one, two, three. Wait, they didn't say ten four, per thing, did they? Five. Yes, they did. Are you sure you just didn't say ten guards around there? Well, maybe that's one whole thing. Put ten, like, in, in that whole block. I'm going to put... Where are my freaking guards? Okay. Why are they all here? One, two, three. I want you guys to patrol around here. I want you five. All right, we got a couple more donations that have come in to from Jonathan. $25, Mini Wheat. Hey, enjoy your guys' games. Thanks for the enjoyment. And if you do, shout out, shout out to my friend Rocketman248. Thank you, Jonathan. Appreciate it, Jonathan. 
Rich Albinger says, I like games the law. $25. Thank you, Rich. I also like games laws. Okay. Are you, have you moved them? Uh, Do you I'm have a patrol? Okay. You're trying. You're doing good. Okay. Keep up the good work. Can you use H on those guys, too? H. All right. These Maybe will not. be my guards that will patrol. How do I get them to patrol? That's a good... Hold on. There's deployment down here. What's that mean? Deployment? There you go. Uh, Wait. Wait. You're just making them all... Oh. Oh, this is kind of cool. No, you want him to be in the yard, too. You want him to, like, go through the yard, don't you? There you go. Okay. Now you have to do a second y one. Because it says only... How do you make the other guy? Wait, it's a, so see where it says assign two guards to patrol the inner courtyard. It has 50% next to it, so I think you have to make another patrol. And it says 70% next to the deploy 10 guards around the prison. Go to deployment again. Go to deployment. Go to... I, I'm in deployment. What are all... Oh, you literally, I think, have all... Whatever this little thing is with all the guards in the middle. No, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Go back to the one where the... Go, go back to deployment. Go back to guards. Yeah, can you get rid of all those purple dots? Because that, that means all the guards were, like, going to that position. Now, okay. I'm going to get rid of that one, too. No? I need a second guard. Duh. Well, that's where you need a second guard. Wait. That's why it says 50%. Oh, 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 oh mini, mini. Got it. Hold on. Got it, got it. I'm confused. Okay, here's what happened. I, I, I saw it. Uh, so... When it, on deploy guards, watch it. Deploy ten guards around the prison. So you said you, you like wanted those four guys right there, right? No, five. And then you can come over here. See, that's deploying them there. Oh. See? Like over here. Two more. And then you can come over here. Look, and then you got to. Now, where it says assign two guards to patrol the inner courtyard, Good. that's where you have to go to there. You have one. No, you don't. So. Nine more. Now you have one. And maybe you can just put a second one there. There you go. Now you have two. Boom. All right. That's much better. All right. That was a little weird because they didn't, like, exactly tell you. But. Okay. Got to replace the kitchen and the canteen now, buddy. Once you have completed, the chefs will automatically start to do their thing. Try highlighting the objective in the to-do list to see some hints. Uh, Donator Justice, $25. Wasn't able to donate the last time you guys were on, so had to do it this time around. Loved watching your stuff for Quake and StarCraft 2. Oh, thank you, Justice. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good old days of Quake. I wish, like, a good... 
quick game would come out. I got high hopes for Overwatch, but I don't want to get my hopes up too soon. I mean, personally, I... I love a good old deathmatch game. Like it makes me sad that we don't have anything um, as far as a deathmatch game is concerned. You know, I'm talking about a one-on-one -on -one quake, one-on-one -on -one Unre unreal, something like that. So wait, build a kitchen. Found wait. What? Okay. Foundations. Building. Twelve. It says, tw yeah, 12 me 12. One, two, three, so. If the path is here, so. Doesn't it tell you when you, like, start One, to two, measure it? Three, four, wait. It does, Minnie. Remember that? What? One, two, three, four, five. Sure. I see what you're trying to do there. Yeah. I was trying to center it. Needs to be 20 square meters. But you can make it big as you want. You can make it 22. It's cool. Improved the kitchen, Mini Wheat. Improved. Okay. No, that's the kitchen. For those that are taking off. What? Okay. Wait, what'd you do? Just. Oh, wait. It needs an entrance first. Yeah. And then you can make it whatever. Uh, for those of you that are uh, taking off for the evening, I know it's late uh, where many of you are. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the Oxcast Jingle Jam where all day. Hope you had a great. Door? What? Where's, Where's the what? The freaking door thing. It, I don't think it has to go up first, doesn't it? Uh, no, large door. Large door. We're just the freaking large Do you have door. to do jail door? I see jail, large jail doors right there. Oh, large jail door. There's also a door there, too. Do you, do you use a jail door? I'm going to. Most of the buildings use a jail door. Okay. This game is crazy elaborate. It's pretty awesome. Oh, Gasheart, right back at you. Just gotta chop down those trees, Mini Wheat. Before I can build a door. What are the what are those other guys doing too? What are they oh because the tree was there, couldn't finish. I'd say you built a mighty fine canteen and kitchen. There, oh, there is still a kitty back there. Right. I'm repairing the path. Is someone going to clean up all that wood, dude? Maybe. It's a lot of wood just sitting around. If someone could trip and fall, you'd have a lawsuit on your hand. I don't have that many... I'm going Warriors, to. Warriors, man. I'm going 
give these guys a nice floor because they're workers. That's the kitchen, right? This is the kitchen. Yeah, okay. Boom, 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 boom. So you need to install four cookers, four fridges, a kitchen sink, a bin in the kitchen. Optional, improve the kitchen floor, connect the sink to the water mains, hire eight cooks. And you have to do it all in 60 seconds. Go. No. What? Oh, that part. Yeah, I just added that part myself. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so. Okay, you have improved the kitchen floor. Congratulations. I'm going to hire eight cooks. Well, aren't you going to install the cookers first? I mean, if I was a brand new cook that you just hired, I'd want to come into the new kitchen that has brand new cookers and not be like having to sit around. Cookers, cookers, where are the freaking cookers? Okay. Okay, you need at, at least four cookers, dude. Cooker. Cooker. Okay, four of them. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. Now you need Frig. four fridges. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. One, two. Sure. Yeah, put just two. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And then a kitchen sink. Put the sink next to the cooker over there. Oh, you can't. It's too big. Can you put it in the middle? Yeah. And you need a bin. A bin. I'm going to install two bins just in case if one gets full. Great idea. Alright. Look at that guy. He's carrying that cooker all on his own. Alright. Install. You're going to need all to right. connect fixed power. I'm going to do the power first. Okay. Uh, utility. No. So that won't automatically connect to all that stuff in the room? Yeah, yeah, you don't need to connect all those things. You just need to, like, make it run through. I'm pretty sure, Minnie, I'm pretty sure you don't need to connect all that stuff. You're making way too many of those things. Because look at, hold on, hold on, just stop for a second. You're making my, stop for a second. Look at all these other buildings. Look, they just have, like, a single thing that runs through it. You don't have to connect, like, every single room. Like, what you have down here, what you have down here is an electrician's nightmare. And they have to install every single one of those panels. So can you just like kill them? Right click to cancel. There you go. There you go. There you go. No, those were already. Okay, but we just. There we go. There Wait. we go. Okay, Wait. now just connect like a single one through the room. What do you. We're not making any more. Wait, no. Oh, if I do this, it will connect, connect automatically. Mini. Mini. Wait! Once again. Oh, hold on. Once again. Once again. Let's go down here. Do you see this big building that has all these lights and things that it needs to power? Yes. And you'll notice that this does not extend out on each one. It is a single trunk of wires that goes through and provides all of the electricity for this one single building. I see that. Again, as an electrician or someone who at least respects the work of electrician, you do not... Oh, oh. You just get rid of this and just do like... Look, you've got it. Look, they built it. Yeah, right but, there. but 
But oh, oh, you oh, wait. Oh, but what? But you what? see, what? it doesn't connect to these. So then you can just move it up a little bit like that. But you don't need to make like 50. In fact, here, maybe you just like. It's not even. It's not connected to, to these. Then, then build this one up and then. All right, son. I'm afraid to tell you you're never going to be an electrician. Is that okay? Wait. <laughs> I put it like this. Okay. Appliances need direct power, everyone says. So you were right. So, like, you need one there, but you don't need, like, 10,000 trunks. Basically, everywhere where there's a little trunk, you must need one. All right. You were right, and I was wrong. And I will never be an electrician. <laughs> Uh, sure. I think it, though it has to connect to that that one right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the other side, maybe. I already did this. I. I did get wrecked. Welcome to, welcome to the wheat family. Thanks tutorial, for the whole. Need direct. Power. I guess that makes sense that why all those little things have uh, little power extensions coming out of them. I still think you might need to connect those, but I'm not sure. I guess you wait till it's done. No, oh, they're blinking, right? So do you need to connect those to something? They just haven't installed them yet? Probably. Gotcha. Yeah, they haven't installed this row. Okay. What do you need, prisoners? They're, they want food, remember? Oh, yeah. That's why they're getting ready to riot, so... Alright, that's... All right, okay. so you need some water to that thing, too. These are large pipes. Boom. Okay. Okay, you better start working on the kitchen. And get those cooks in there too. Uh, eight cooks. I just need eight cooks. Yeah, you know, the threat Stop. the threat level is high. Uh oh. Uh oh, mini wheat. Uh oh. Right, please. Right, please. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I I just called three badgers of right. Okay, you guys, go over here. Try that. Try that H thing. We just select them and hit H. H. Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't know what that person was talking about. I thought like it. It had them do it. Automatically. All the right, please. I don't know. They want to go out there, man. You just send and just highlight all those dudes and send them over there. Even the workers. I'm serious, man. Come on, like they're zerglings. Oh, oh, they might be doing their job. All right. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, you gotta work on that kitchen, bro. I know. All right. All right, staff. Oh, H is only for the firemen. Thank you, Jowler. Oh, yeah, because H was supposed to, like... I love this guy. Uh, Nine Hello said, as someone uh, who's been playing Prison Architect uh, since Alpha, I am so frustrated. <laughs> Dude. We're beginners. All right, the cooks are cooking. 
Connect the sink to the water. Oh, they need to have one more thing. To, can they finish the water main already? Oh, he's bringing it. He's tired. He's bringing in the last thing. Repair this dirt. I want my prison looking. No. Oh man. You you know what? I and I can really appreciate that you want your prison to look nice, but do you not realize that the entire prison population is about to starve? And as a CEO, you might be in big trouble if all of your inmates start dying. Canteen. Right. Canteen. Install two serving tables. At least six tables. Boom. Canteen. Right. Going with that ceramic floor. $26,000. Just boom. You're doing well, Minnie Install two serving tables. I'm going to install five. Oh, snap. Wait, five serving tables? Can you even make that much food? We have a lot of prisoners. Wait, 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 wait. Those are serving tables, Mini Meat, not like tables. Serving tables where they serve the food. Not no. like that not like eating tables. I I was putting in some eating tables too. Wait, are those you, those are the serving tables? Mm -hmm. oh, I see. Oh yeah. Yeah. These are on the right. Yes, those are the serving tables. I'm going to cancel that and that because they're not facing the right way. Boom. Now, whichever floor they're... Now you need you need at least six regular tables. Yeah. And some benches. No two benches on the other side. Yeah, there you go. Oh snap, we almost got a canteen back. And I don't think we need dry placing. Yep, yeah, you can send them home. Maybe keep one around. Well, never mind. Go home. Enjoy your time out, fellas. Install two benches around each table, place a bin in the canteen. The bins. Bins. Let me install some bins. Do you have? It won't let me. He. He. No. <laughs> no. Those bins are going to get full quickly. I don't think you have enough places for everyone to eat. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Nine Hello says restart the game. No way. Just get the bins in the canteen. There we go. You did it. Yes. I'm calling you. You would not believe what I've just been told. Uh-oh. Our guys were dumping some of the old foodstuffs. They discovered packs of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the crates. We suspected the Palermo family is smuggling in the facility for some time now, but we'd never been able to determine how. 
Some days it just doesn't rain. It pours. Don Victor Palermo, boss of one of the East Coast's most feared mob families. The Palermos eluded the FBI for decades. Anthony Palermo, the Don's eldest son and natural heir, ran the day-to-day operations. Nico Tamaretti wasn't a made man, but was welcomed into the family business when he married the Don's only daughter, Vitalia. And Sonny Palermo, the Don's second son, the run of the litter, temper like a pit bull and only half as smart. Their empire ran a narcotic straight from Maine to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in flagrante delictico. Oh. Shot dead by a jealous husband. Unfortunately for the family. Police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sports bag. And the evidence led straight to the top. Sir, you're under arrest. Sir, I'm afraid to tell you, you're under arrest. Overnight, everything the Palermo's family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they'd all rot in jail. My jail. Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. We don't know much about her other than she was always kept outside the family business. Or was she? But somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. Who could it be? We could have quite a serious narcotics problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. Our chefs will work preparing food for everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deliberate and we don't want to repeat of that. No. Install a sprinkler system. Mini. Go ahead. You can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report. Oh, look at that. This report shows the combined needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this particular need not being met. Food. Food and recreation. Everything else is okay. There is a sandbox mode to this, yes. We were just, uh, it's the first time we'd ever played this, so. We decided to play the five levels, of, well, five chapters of the. Yeah, even though we're not even going to get close to getting through five chapters. Yeah. Are you going to do it? Wait. Oh, okay. Food is red for forever. These prisoners are also very bored. The prison is a pretty shabby state. Okay. It's your decision as the resident prison architect, architect which needs you will try to attend to first. Could install television in the cells to keep them occupied and hire some janitors to clean the place up. Or you could just ignore your prisoner's need altogether and rely on force to keep your prisoners under control. I'll leave it up to you. I'm going to, I'm going to get some janitors to like work. Okay. Deployment, wait, no. Staff. Janitors. Janitors. Janit. Janitors. Put one in the canteen for sure. Janitors will need to clean that up. 
It looks like they're just going around and doing whatever anyway. Whoa. Like, they're just going around and doing their own thing. I'm what the going hell? to. I'm going to. Uh, give these guys. Some nice heroes. What about the food needs? It's, and you still need to install sprinklers too. What can you even do for their food needs? What else? Wait. Does that mean they're already connected, or...? No. I need to connect them. Utilities... Small. Huh. So do they just have to connect to it, or how does that work? I'm guessing it has to connect. Well, we'll see once they install it. They're installing those first. Everyone in chat have good New Year's plans? Ready? We're going to be kicking it here. Old school. Watching the ball drop. Occasionally there are some fireworks in San Francisco. Assuming that it uh, it actually is. Um, All right. Are those pipes actually, like the small pipes actually connected, Minnie? Do they, are, is that what they look like? Wait. They still need to Oh, when they install them? They, it's just weird because I like just assumed that it should be right. looking the right way. Who needs? All right, I'm going to. Uh, Wait, does that mean you handled the environmental needs of your prisoners? Most. Uh, okay. Uh, wait. Um, there you go. There's some plans. Mod stream, drinking, mod stream, going ice skating. Uh. Yeah, we do have a YouTube channel over at uh, youtube.com slash DJ Wheat, but we mostly Twitch. Um, some of our longer series go up there, and occasionally we do Should I have some different a radio videos here and there. or a TV? I feel like you should add television because they would all really like to watch the wire and Oz are you just going to put a television in every cell or just a few of them uh. and you get a TV 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 and you get one and you but yours is black and white and you get a TV you all get black and white TV they have what are what are those rooms that they're in right there what are the, like why are those two guys in like a special room uh they're the mob guys oh don't give them tvs man i i didn't give them tvs good good they already have tvs these th these guys, if I put a TV in these guys' cells, uh, they won't be able to get out.
They're just gonna have to watch it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> They can't watch it from bed. <laughs> Mini we the master <laughs> warden troll. <laughs> We've installed brand new televisions in your room, but you have to be standing up against your wall in order to enjoy them. Because I like, But the other guys got it installed so they could watch it from the Well, you're not the other guys. You're in one of the top layers of cells. And as you can see, we don't have a sprite that shows the television pointing your way, so you're screwed. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it, noobs. Nublet, you get a TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wait>. they, oh <laughs> man. <laughs> wow, dude. Their television was like pointing at the wall. <laughs> That's a lot of televisions that you just purchased for this prison. When I get the bill, where'd all these televisions come from? <laughs> Troll of vision. Troll of vision, indeed. Troll of vision confirmed. I mean, like, all these janitors are fine, but Why televisions? Why don't you, like, let them install a television so I could see all everyone get happy? The janitors are totally doing their job. Oh, man, look at those janitors go. They're going crazy. Didn't I give these guys better flooring? Yeah, they did, but that hasn't been cleaned yet. It still has to be cleaned. We've had an incident in the showers. There's a body. Actually, there's two bodies. Luckily for us, we've got some cameras in there. When you get a moment, click on the Polaroid in the showers and we'll take a look at what happened. I would let the optional stuff happen, though. Right? Hi. Don't you? I want to see where are people getting their televisions yet? Handle the environmental needs. Are people not, they, what, are they just like not okay with your new televisions? They don't like it? I like, think they're just sleeping. Why don't they wake up and watch their TVs? Look at all these guys installing TVs over on the other side, too. <laughs> While they're sleeping. That'd be like you'd wake up and be like, man, my life sucks. I have to wake up every day. <gasps> A new TV. <laughs> but these guys. Oh, they why? woke up. And they, they spoiled the surprise. <laughs> Wait, there was two bodies. And, and they're messing up all the evidence in the showers now. <laughs> Look, they still don't like it. Their their recreational is only at sixteen percent, Mini Wheat. No, don't don't hit it yet. I know. Uh, handle. Uh, oh oh, it did go up. It went up to four. Oh oh, <gasps> people watching their televisions. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh oh, Mini Wheat. Batteries Wee. install batteries. Uh oh oh, Mini, what did you? Oh snap! This is a problem. How do you do it? Don't you have to install new capacitors? Yes. Oh, you Our didn't utilities. see. You didn't think about what would happen with all your televisions drawing power <laughs> from the grid. Hey. You better install a capacitor right now. I'm going to install a ton of capacitors so I can handle all of this power. Wow. What? First, I get a bill for all these TVs. <laughs> then you don't even account for the electrical needs of every single te look. And now, what? The toilets are down too. <laughs> no, seriously, they are. You better fix this right now. Wait! It's the responsibility of the workers because the workers are the ones building everything, and I'm the one planning everything. Duh. Well, wait. Why? Why? I need. Do I need to turn it on? Yes, you need to turn it back on. It's already on. Are you sure it's on? Yeah. What? What the heck? It doesn't look on to me, dude. It doesn't look on to me. Ah! Hold on. I don't. 
don't think it's on what here. What does it mean? Turn on. Switch on. <laughs> Boom. Oh, now... Oh, I thought it was a riot, but it looks like it's just... Whew. We have way too many All players. right, now can... Wait. Oh, the recreational needs went down. I'm going to... Wait, oh, there we go. It's back up. Okay, wait. Are you going to... I'm no, no, going to no. build more of these so I <laughs> can have more power. Okay. I'll just let the builders take their time doing that. All right, you need to take care of food. Okay, forget about it. Never mind, food. All right, while well, this is happening, got some more donations. $25 from uh, Seng Sengeel. Uh, hey, Yogscast, love your channel. Had so many fun times. Tech It was my favorite series. And Katie, $25, says thank you for everything. Everything? Everything! Thank you, Katie. And $25 from Anon. Keep up the good work. Ba bam, ba bam! Thank you for your donations. Thank you for supporting the Oxcast Jingle Jam and all the great charities that are here. Oh, I would say here, Shh. over on the side. We no longer have our little counter, um, but uh, the road to a million is a real thing, and there's still a few more days of the Oxcast Jingle Jam coming at you. you can find out more information by heading on over to Reddit.com/r/Oxcast or right here on the channel itself. You can just tune into Oxcast here on Twitch. All right, so I, wait, who actually killed him then? I told you, watch your back. Have <laughs> you met Frankie before? He's not even in town with piano wire. <laughs> Honestly, by the time he's finished, the thing it was a suicide. Uh, oh, stab. Uh, wait, he said there was only two bodies, though. Who survives? He's dead. <gasps> and he's dead. And he's dead. But no, Nico is still alive. Oh. He's just unconscious. Oh, we got a $5 donation from Zeus who says, love. Boom. Right back at you. Fantastic. Looks like the Palermo, Palermo family is running out of members. They only have two more left. They only got two more left. Well, one real one. You can bet Palermo's were selling those narcotics to every con in here. Withdraw since the fire. Keep going. I want you to search every prison and every cell. I bet we find Palermo drugs all over the prison. So, wait. Hold right mouse button and drag to select an area to clone. Are you going to search? Wait. It says hire more guards to speed up the search. You need to handle the food problem, too. I don't know how that's uh. happening. How do you handle the food problem? I, I don't know. Um, Almighty Backseaters in the Yogscast channel. How would one go about handling the food needs of the prisoners inside the prison. Ninja guard, ninja guard, ninja guard, ninja guard, ninja guard. Search the prison for drugs. I'm going to hire one more guard. Oh, we gosh. have 40 guards. Wow. Wow, that's coming out of my pocket. Hunt a killer has solved it. How to handle the food problem? Let them eat each other. <laughs> <laughs> Go into the clipboard, schedule, extend the eat time. 
And add more cookers and cooks. So add more cookers and cooks. Well, more people are eating right now. They be eating. Yeah, how come there's only like two cooks in here? There's... Add another no. cooker. I Oh, I think, think it's because the others are getting supplies. Oh, I see. All right. Objects. Cooker. Boom. And where's the clipboard? Here, I think this one's the clipboard right Wait. up there. Wait. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to add... There you go. You got it. You did it. You've shown an admirable dedication to taking care of your prisoners' needs. Well done. You'll probably have noticed by now that the major remaining gripe amongst the prisoners is the lack of clean clothing. If you want to take care of this need as well, you'll need to run a laundry service to gradually provide all your inmates with clean clothing. <laughs> Duh. Build a laundry and hire someone to do the laundry. All right. Do that. Schedule. Schedule. Where, where the heck is the schedule? Here, let's see. No, wait. Intake. No. 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 I don't know, bro. Wait. Report. Planet. No, I don't think no. that's it either. It's it's regime, not schedule. Where's regime? Regime. So take away one thing of free time and make eat longer. No, like, yeah, like don't make him go back to lock up. They literally have no time in lockup. No, get, you haven't put them on. Yeah, here. Take away one free time. Make them eat here. Make this lockup. Oops. And then. And then also do keep this lockup. But make this eat. Like that. Try that. Or you could just make it so they can only sleep an hour a night, but I don't think you should do that. Next time. Well, there's no point in having this room here because as he's dead. Well, maybe someone else can move in there. Who knows? What do you have to do? Build the laundrette. 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 All right. We're going to build that. Yeah, we never played Prison Architect. We thought we were going to jump into it and make our prison, but then we realized we have no idea how to play, so we're going through the tutorial. We've actually had quite a bit of fun with it. Uh, thanks to all the folks hanging out here in the channel during the final days of the Augscast Jingle Jam. We are Team Wheat. I am DJ Wheat, joined, of course, by Mini Wheat. You can follow us on Twitter. It's at DJ Wheat and at DJ Mini Wheat. And also you can find us on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash DJ Wheat, and on YouTube, YouTube.com slash DJ Wheat. We just share our channels. I'm sure one day Mini Wheat will oh, grow we older. Found a guy with, uh oh, uh oh. We found one guy. Get him to would take him somewhere he doesn't want to be. I'm punish I'm him. To build my okay. Laundry. That looks great. We are only back for about another half hour or so. Actually, about 40 minutes or so. Uh, and then we are... We are out. Um, we're just kind of chilling. Take it, taking it easy before the... Uh, New Year. Oh, they found another guy. They found another guy. We're finding them everywhere. 
Laundry machine. <laughs> laundry basket. Parts. What? What do you got? What do you need to build laundrette? Laundry. What do you have? Washing machine in a laundry basket, ironing board. And Recause iron. that might be a little bad, uh, right. but I think what you'll we'll have is some additional. If we just stop doing this and just hop into our own prison, I feel we'll eventually run into something. We'll be like, what do we do? No, but this has been just as fun. Now I can, uh, uh, I can also stream it. Mini can also stream it. I've been playing Rise of the Tomb Raider lately. I was going to wait for it to come out on PC, but I couldn't. So he I got has it. this guy. What I saw doing? him with he, with a, like, uh, Needle? A, no, uh, uh, like a drill. He had, like, a drill. Uh, he pulled, like, a drill out and put it back. What? I don't know. That's I'm crazy. keep an eye on him. Um, I've also been playing Axiom Verge. Has anyone gotten any good deals from the Steam sale? Uh, I got Axiom Verge. I got that EVP game that I want to play, like Silurios or something. But I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. It's there's a lot of stuff I already have. I'm really enjoying the new Tomb Raider a lot. I wish it was on PC. I won't lie, but I'm enjoying it. Okay. Do a bang up. It will clear a lot of the contraband. Well, you can build the laundry. They're still searching for drugs. Nice. Picked up the 2013 Tomb Raider for three bucks. Oh, I could. Chroma Squad. I haven't played that one. Lisa the Painful. Oh, what's that? That sounds interesting. Minecraft Story Mode. Minnie and I are still playing through that. That's another game that you can find us streaming. We've got we've got two episodes to go through, buddy. Yeah. Oh, you need to lock down then do a search. It says. But you're still trying to build or your laundry. I could do. Right? I could do a shakedown. Yeah. Yep, shakedown. That's what they said. Okay. Laundry stuff. Laundry, laundry, laundry. I've not played Life is Strange. Heard things about it. Earthbound inspired game and takes the concept of Earthbound to an 11 on a disturbing scale. Interesting. I should check that out, Bam. Thank you. It's interesting. I still haven't played Undertale yet, which I got on the Steam sale, so that's probably. I mean, it was already cheap. What are you trying to figure out, buddy? I need to get laundry stuff. I don't know where I can get that. Well, is it. Do you need to connect power to it first or anything? Did you already declare it was a laundry facility first? Let's see. Uh, pool table, sprinkler, drain. Oh, you found it. We're going to... Yeah, Clevi, definitely. That's good. This side can just be. But it's not. It's not scary, right, uh, Lisa? The painful. Boom. Um, no, we already had prison architect from early in the day. Early in the day. Earlier in the year. And then, of course, the 
1.0 came out. <laughs> Do you see this stack of workers? They can't get in, Minnie. The door doesn't need power. All right. Yeah, I was um uh, I was really surprised at the Axiom Verge soundtrack. I thought that was or is incredible. I'm not done with it yet. <laughs> you got a lot of power. Alright, clothing needs. Oh, I also need water. Oh, stuff. you need. Yeah. You got a pipe right there, though. A uh, pipe. Perfect. Can't you just do a small pipe over? Boom. What the heck is this guy doing? Um, he's stealing something. Oh, wait, no. Oh, he's taking away dirty stuff. Yeah, I, I was like, why is he frozen? I thought he was stealing a television from one of the inmates. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they all have free televisions now and then. How, like, of how them. come all of your paths are grown over, too? Is that intentional? Going on those? You're so, oh. You're so close to handling all the clothing needs. So close, buddy. Alright, right, I have not uh, taken a look at the schedule um, for the remainder. Here it is. Oh, we have another donation from Catherine Cuddleo. $25. It says, Happy 2016. Happy, Happy 2016. early 2016. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm going to, Since there's already a path here... Okay, I'm so there's Wednesday and then there's Thursday. Maybe. Right. Sorry. So Wednesday, uh, Witwix is going to be on tomorrow playing Mario Maker. Love Witwix. They're going to have the board game stream. Definitely going to want to tune into that one. What? Why is this guy still here, even though he's dead? No, he's not dead yet. I thought he was... I thought he died earlier in the chapter. I don't think he did. Did he? And then uh, Thursday is the mod takeover stream. All day. Shakedown. Oh, yeah. All day long. Getting it on deck. Shakedown. Shakedown. Oh my gosh. Oh my mini. Oh my god. Cell phones, katana blades, knives, hacksaws, drills, screwdrivers, shanks, forks, hydrochloric acid, another cell phone, more drills, drugs, drugs hammers. This is not acceptable. Answer my call. I'm about to chew you out. <laughs> On the positive, it's not as bad as it could have been, but there are definitely problems with drug and alcohol dependency. We need to help these men. It's the only way of curbing their activities and dealing with their symptoms. Start a drug treatment program in the infirmary. Our doctors will administer a chemical substitute that will help alleviate the cravings in our addicts. For the alcoholics, there isn't a chemical substitute, so I suggest we start group therapy sessions. You'll have to build a new common room to run those meetings. All right. I know where I'm going to build that common room. Right there? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oops. Yeah, if you've never played, uh, this is a game that was in Broker. alpha for a very long time and then in beta. And um, 
obviously it's 1.0 version 1.0 now so it's got a great tutorial um it's a lot of fun it not only has this little campaign thing but then it also has um a very heavy sandbox mode where you can just kind of start and do whatever you want okay. it's undertale on gog i'm not sure i know i got it on steam They found gardening shears, mini wheat, alcohol, scissors, pencils, syringes. I don't know what that is, like a billy club or a bat or something. A bat. They found a bat. Three bat. Three. Two bats. No, two batons, and and I don't know what that is. These guys are crazy. Build that comments room. Wait. What? No. Your path. Okay. Oh, wait. Foundation. Brick. Wait. What is the difference between, like, the brick and the concrete? Just the cost? Uh, no. I believe concrete is for walls and oh, okay. brick is for rooms. I see. Oh, like, okay. If I was going to make, like, a con... I got you. Okay. So there's no specific requirements for the common room besides it has to be indoors. Okay. Yep. With eight chairs. With eight chairs. We're just here for another 30 minutes, you guys. Uh, and then I think the playlist will start again. But don't forget, there's two more days of the Oxcast Jingle Jam coming on. I want to give a big, big thank you to the Oxcast crew who invited us to come on and uh, join them. Not once, but twice. I know we're a little bit different than uh, some of the other streams that are on throughout the Jingle Jam. So we appreciate those who uh, stop by and spread the holiday love and cheer with myself and good old I Mini Week. I have wait, wait for the shakedown to shake stop. Down. Shake, shake, Before shake, I shake, shake down. Anything. Well, you, it's almost done. You guys have done a great job anyway. What is what is that one? The S number four. I don't know. No. In the middle. Oh, six. You said six. Poison. Someone had poison? Poison, cigs, booze, scissors, medicine, club, baton. It was a club. A shank. shank. Knife, fork, spoon. Oh my gosh, the spoons. The <laughs> spoons, dude. Can't believe it. Eight drills. They found eight drills, Mini Wheat. Where are they getting these drills from, man? All right. Shakedown's right. over. Now I can. Shakedown's over. It's. Recause, uh, oh, wait. if you can't drop a link, you're you're more than uh, welcome to just tweet me. I don't think it needs to be that big, dude. That's a huge common room. It only needs to have eight chairs, bro. What if you have to build something else, like an arcade or something? That's huge. Whatever. You can tweet me. I'll take a look at it later. You need an entrance. Boom. It's the biggest common room in prison history. I'm pretty sure there's, there's more bigger than that. Especially because there prob there's probably going to be a lot of, of alcohol addicts. Alcoholics. Probably. You're probably right about that. Eight chairs. Oh, you're giving them a wooden floor. Oh, snap. Right. Need eight chairs, buddy. Chairs, chairs. Where are chairs? Chair.
Very nice. Very nice. And then... Uh, Put a radio in there. Yeah. And maybe like a television. Maybe like a sofa. I think that TV's facing the wall, but that's okay. No, it's not. Okay. If you say so. Where did that TV go? No. Oh no, our battery on our subscription thing is about to go. Just last 30 more minutes. What about a pool table, maybe? So. What? You want to move the... Yeah, I want to move this. But it's already been built. And it won't let me sell it. Can you do, like, the other one and just, like... You don't have to be on it, do you? Wait. Oh my gosh. Pushy. There you go. I don't know how to get rid of that one. Oh. Yeah. I think that. Did you. Uh, a pool table. They need a. Uh, they need lights in there too, right? Yeah. I'm a dude. Yes, they need the lights. Uh, I'm going to uh, give them something to look at. Like. Uh. TV? TV. TV, you left me. Oh. <laughs> the. <laughs> All right. Does that uh, does that room have power? I'm going to give it. Oh. oh no! A what? flood! Oh no. Well, don't worry, the janitors are cleaning it. Who, out. who, who the frick would not install some? I don't know, uh, but the janitors totally owned that, so that was nice. Alright, you need, uh. You need the common drains. room? I'm installing some drains there, so it's oh. not Good job. But wait, your common room, don't you need power still? Wait. I'm going to stop. You are so mad about the... Why don't you put one in the middle, too? Yeah, there you go. It won't let me. Weird. Weird. Okay, common room. Common room, power. Oh, it has power. So, uh, how do you... Do they just have meetings there on their own or what? Wait. Start. Like uh, I uh, I uh, hold on, Minnie. I gotta I gotta get on the soapbox for a second because like I gotta call out Derpy Hippo because like is kind of an idiot as Mini Wheat is like as big a Yogscast fan as probably any person that comes into this channel and enjoys Yogscast and it's just like as if you would love to get on and partake in something that the Yogscast would do. That's exactly what 
many we would love to do. So it's like a big honor for both him and myself that uh, Yogscast has asked us to come and fill some time. And yes, we realize we are not your average Yogscast programming. Um, but like, I, I can't believe that if you are truly a super fan, that you would put down another super fan of Yogscast. Shame on you. All right, moving on. Okay. Why why hasn't this been crossed off if I borrow it? Well, oh wait! What? I need I need to put it uh, in uh Do you have to actually put it into the No I need to put it Are you sure? No, I don't think you have to. How about needs or whole oh, programs, programs. 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 Alcoholic. There you go. No time slot. So go up and hit start, maybe? I already did start. Oh, then click in there. Click in those where it says no time slot. Oh. Uh, here, then it must go in. Let's stop these for a second. Workshop, kitchen, or is it alcoholic? Start. It says no. Oh, on. wait! And work. Where? Work. It's work? I'm guessing. Oh, go back to it again. And then they'll have a two hour. Okay, wait. Session. Go back to it. Go back to programs. Programs. It still says no time slot. What about reschedule all programs down below? No. So wait, go back to regime. <laughs> Is it? F I don't understand. Is it? Uh, <coughs> let's see. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't understand it either because it says, okay. I'm trying to see if someone else maybe knows what that means. Scroll down. Drug addiction. I, I don't get it. Set the work in the regime. How do you set the work? Oh, I think you set a work time and then you do jobs. For like prisoners. So maybe? let's make oops work. Then can we do it? Uh, in uh, jobs. No, because this just shows what people are doing at the exact moment. <sighs> Assign a time slot. I still don't know where the How hell do that happened. Yeah. Do you have to like? Um, dude, I'm confused. Wait. Oh. All rooms booked. Oh, wait. Stop. 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 Hold on. S start. Start. And then I'm hit. What do you mean all rooms booked? For the alcoholics, they're supposed to go in there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Reschedule all programs. 
I, I'm confused. No, we had it. We we totally had it. Um, no, we reschedule all programs. Drug addiction. We you the know what, we don't don't addiction. do that one yet. That's why the book the thing got booked. I think you just have to let it go through. I don't know where you'd book the room. But I think what happened was... Oh, is it still under here? It is. So how do we get rid of this one? Oh, wait! Wait, wait, wait! No, don't stop it! We have to book another session! I think I get it now. Okay. Yeah, that'll probably work. Oh, no. Well, you just did it, so actually hit play. Or let it go through a little bit. And start it again. There you go. There you go. Wait. No. What? No. Why? Why did you did one? I Why didn't did do it. Hey, did you do it? I didn't do that. You just did that. No, I didn't. Dude, you totally just did because it went back down to the bottom. And now we've got this other one. How do you just reschedule everything? How do you just get rid of it? I don't know either. I know. I realize that we don't have enough rooms. The question is... How do you unassign something from the room? Because we accidentally assigned it to the drugs. Helping people cut the drugs. But then we needed it for the alcohol. You have to have at least three hours of work in a row, man. I did press stop. Crazy. Medallia. Hush now. I thought I had pressed stop, but I uh, got another donation from Chris, $25, and he just says, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, I remember people talking about how crazy this game was in alpha especially with like a lot of the crazy stuff that would happen I wish you'd do a better place papi I wish you'd do a better place I wish you'd do a better place that tickles <sighs> <sighs> that tickles maybe we got about 10 minutes left wanna well, start the next campaign well, if we have 10 minutes left, you probably shouldn't start. We should probably save it for the next one. We could Maybe we could just give our thank yous and, and everything to everyone. And uh, we'll continue streaming Prison Architect over on our channel. Not today, but like later. We still got a few days of vacation left, right? So, how do we save it? Right. We'll just have to restart that third thing anyway, Good. so. Um, Let's just read it. What's that? Let's just read it. What? It's 
We're gonna go all the way through. We got only got like ten minutes left. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll just start it. Oh, there's a riot underway. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. Yep, pause it. You can exit out. Let me go back to this. Exit. Cool. Good job, buddy. Wow, such an uninspired. Oh wait, wait. Should we do our Should we do our new thing? Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, what you're not? What are you doing? We're not done yet. No, I, I, I'm just. Oh, you're you're oh fixing your hair. Yeah. Yeah. We're in a, we're in a headset for three hours. It's hard work, isn't it? I know. It's totally hard work. It's totally hard work. Um, want to thanks uh, to all the folks that donated over the course of the three hours, and to all of those uh, who joined. Yeah. <laughs> Are you tired? <laughs> and to all those who uh, contributed, what do you think of Prison Architect? You got? Do you want to it's keep playing good. that? Yeah, you yeah. like that? It's good stuff. You like it? I do like it. It's pretty good. I can tell that they've come a long ways from the alpha to. What is now the um, what is now the one point oh really, <laughs> Mister Yanni Yan over here? Jeez, jeez. Um, so we've got some New Year's plans. We're just gonna stay in and uh, enjoy some time with friends and family. I guess. Thank you, Veteran Harry. Thank you. And I hope that you guys will tune in and watch, um, you know, the final two days of the Oxcast Jingle Jam. I know this might seem a little crazy, but I would like to use also a moment to talk about another charity event that is coming up beginning on January 3rd. And Minnie, we, I haven't told you that this is happening yet, so you're probably going to be very happy. Yeah. And I Another have to imagine. Hats? No, no. I have to imagine, though, that even the Oxcast folks can are totally getting behind this. But Mini Wheat, awesome games done quick. AGDQ, where they speed run all the games. Yeah. It starts for a week on January 3rd. And if you guys have never tuned into this, basically what they do is they speed run like hundreds of games over the seven days. And it is so awesome. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. There's uh, laughter, there's crying, there is cringe, there is uh, world records being broken. There's just a little bit of everything. Uh, great, great stuff. I definitely there's, suggest you check it out. There's world records nearly being nearly broken. Nearly broken, but not the shatter. But that's going to be going on for seven days. Uh, great way to kick off the... the thing hours of mini wheat soon mini wheat and i will be doing drone streams is when we can figure out how to stream our drones it's gonna be pretty awesome yeah yeah i i really wanted to do like a drone cam but we can't because not yet right, well we'll build the technology mini wheat or we can just get another air drone with a camera no, because then we have to build the technology to be able to like input the camera transmission back into the streaming computer. Yeah. yeah. And then we can fly our drone for a couple of hours for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting no we're getting more batteries tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll be able to like fly our drones for an hour at a time. An hour of drone fun. I can't wait to do that. Miniweed, since this is wrapping things up for the end of 2015, do you have a favorite game? Do you have like a top three list for this year of your top three games? Uh, number one, Undertale. You started with your number one game, and it's Undertale. Did you know that Total Biscuit also had number one as, his, as Undertale? Undertale is being number one as a lot of of indie game, uh, a lot of top tens and top uh, five indie games of the year, or 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 games of the year. Not on my list, unfortunately. 
Because you haven't played it yet. Uh, because I haven't played it yet. <laughs> uh, Number two has to be Prison Architect. It's really? It's very good. What, didn't this game come out last year, though? I, I thought it came out in, like, 2012. Let's check the wiki. Time to check the wiki. We're checking it. We're checking it right now. Prison Architect Wiki. I, I thought it came out in like 2013. It might have gotten... Oh, it officially was released on October 6, 2015, Mini. It's totally safe. Boom. Good job. There but it like is. The Alpha was released in, in 2000. Well, the Alpha was released a while ago, yeah. Yeah, it was released in like 2000. Two it, 2012. Yes. Prison Architect made over 10.7 million in pre-order sales for the alpha version. That's insane. I know, right? Wow. Well, good job, Prison Architect and the folks over at, uh, what is it, uh, Introversion Software? All right, so Undertale, Prison Architect. And the third one has to be... Hmm. Tough. Many does oftentimes know what he's talking about. Roblox. It's <laughs> it's the game that I've spent most time on this year. It's the game that I've spent most time on this year. I've had fun on messing around with trolls, trolls confusing people, making new friends, and I've had and fun and and being trolled on Roblox. I've yep. had fun I like to play and Roblox, getting so. mad at uh, exploiters and hackers. I've been uh, I've A had hacker. I've had fun <laughs> and <laughs> That's okay. I, you know what? I think it's totally okay to make. Like yeah, I think it's totally okay to make your game of the year the game that you played a lot of. Like for example, for me, like Rocket League has to be up there as game of the year because I put a lot of hours into that game. I know. So and I then, totally understand. And and the one. And thing I wish Roblox could have improved was their sponsored games, their sponsored events. Their sponsored events aren't very good. Who's? Roblox is. Why? Not very good prizes. Not. Oh. Not very much challenge. It it doesn't feel like <laughs> Roblox anymore because they're not not uh, like. Like building their own their own maps and games seems right. to for people to play on and, and like find out riddles, puzzles, uh, parkour. If you want to add Mini on Roblox, is DJ Miniweet, and he plays it all the time. So uh, we also want to give a shout out to Eleven Axer for twenty five dollars donate. Says thank you all. Thank you. Dude, Mini Wheat, how many more yawns do you have for us before we wrap up? <sighs> um, yes, we do. Uh, some of the final questions will... Uh, we'll yes, we do stream over on twitch.tv slash twitch. If you want to go over there and hit the follow button, we'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, stream pretty regularly, mostly on the weekends, though. I also happen to be a character in uh, a couple of the shows over on... Uh, Twitch.tv slash itmejp over on Roleplay Mirror Shades and Roleplay Swan Song. Um, what else? Many, anything else? I think we're, I think we're getting to that point, dude. Well, well. Thank you for donating nearly. Thank you all for donating nearly a million dollars. Yes, that is amazing, right? That's pretty amazing. Did we even... Did anyone even set a goal this time? I don't think so. 
Uh, what headset do I use? Uh, well, Mini's using the HMD 280 13s. I'm just using the HMD 280s. Yes, thank you to everyone that participated throughout the Oxcast Jingle Jam, all the streamers. Uh, look forward to the mod to team takeover, etc. Um, you guys have been great, and we really appreciate all the support you guys not only have given us this month, but also all the folks over at Yogcast and all the great charities. Up and down, I can't. I'm not a weatherman. I can't do that very well. Like right over there, right? Wrong side, Mini Wheat. The charities on this side over here. See, they're over here. They're not. They're not. Okay. Um, you can find the update, uh, updated schedule being dropped in the links, but there are two more days of Yogs cast jingle jam coming at ya. You can follow us also on Twitter at DJ Wheat, at DJ Mini Wheat. We often tweet when we are going live. In fact, we never go live without tweeting. So uh, if you don't want to follow the channel, that's another way of keeping track of everything. Mini Wheat's getting in the groove, man. Little, little raver. Got a little raver. Okay. Mini Wheat, do you want to say your, your thank yous and your goodbyes? Well, well thank you to all, all that uh, donated and all that are watching. Peace. Bye. You good? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us yet again for another day of the Yogscast Jingle Jam. Don't worry, the action might be ending now, but it will be picking back up tomorrow as the schedule resumes with two more days of the Yogscast Jingle Jam to close out 2015 in a most epic way. I hope that you all have a very, 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 very happy and safe new year. And we will see you in 2016. On behalf of myself, DJ Wheat, and my little gremlin that came out of me when I got wet, Mini Wheat, we'll see you next time. We're out of here. Peace.